how to understand 1 John chapter 2, verses 7 and 8 regarding no new commandment and a new commandment. So let's read 1 John chapter 2, verses 7 and 8. And so verse 7, Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Verse 8 says, Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light now shineth. One of the things that gives people difficulty with those two verses is verse 7 says, I write no new commandment. And then, then verse 8 says, again, a new commandment I write unto you. So verse 7 says, I'm not writing a new commandment. Verse 8 says, I am. So, so what's going on there? So verse 7 says this, it's an old commandment which ye had from the beginning. And then it says, the old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. So get with me chapter 3 and verse 11. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning. And I'm going to suggest to you that 3.11 is the cross-reference for 1 John 2.7, because 1 John 2.7 talks about the old commandment, which is the word ye have heard from the beginning. So 1 John 3.11, For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Get 2 John verse 5. 2 John and verse 5. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. So it seems pretty clear that the commandment that's from the beginning is the commandment to love one another. I believe that's a reference to Leviticus 19, verse 18. So get Leviticus 19, verse 18. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. So the old commandment appears to be the old commandment that Israel had from the beginning, the commandment to love one another. But that leaves us with the question of, okay, what's the new commandment? So get with me John 13, verse 34. John 13 and verse 34. And it's, it's of course clear that the same person wrote John and 1 John. So and, and 2 John and 3 John as well. Look with me at John chapter 13, verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you. So when 1 John 2, verse 8 talks about a new commandment, I think it's clearly referring to what we're reading here in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Now, the old commandment was to love one another. The new commandment is, as I have loved you, to love one another. And so I, I believe the idea here is this. As a result of the Lord's earthly ministry, the old commandment was simply love one another, which is, of course, a good commandment and should be followed it is supplemented by, in other words, there's an additional commandment, and that additional new commandment is to love one another as I have loved you. And so that's the way to, uh, to understand the old commandment and the new commandment. They're both about love, uh, but the new commandment uh, adds the fact that we are to love one another as Christ loved us.